ask a busy person to do something because they, they will do it. Lean has got an amazing company called Redline Marketing and I recommended her to a friend of mine in Madrid, Valerius, who was absolutely oh, yeah. delighted with the work. So it's so wonderful when you can make a recommendation like that. Not just that, but she's got all her gratitude art company, so she's got all of that. If that wasn't enough, she's also studied with Brian Weiss, Dr. Yes. Brian Weiss, on the regression therapy together with Dr. Past Life with Dr. Susan Phoenix here and running workshops on the last one was before was on bereavement and now on regression. So really yes. busy. So the fact that she's here with us tonight is a huge gift and I'm really, really grateful. Thank so, you thank so you much. Very much. Thank you. Well thank you uh, for letting me speak here, Lucy. Thank you. Um, I'm Lean, as you know, uh, and I have a company called Gratitude Art. I founded it in 2008, and what we do in Gratitude Art, I don't know if any, anybody has seen it before, but what we basically do, or what I do, is I design everything myself, and it's about uh, implementing things into your home to help you stay grateful. I don't know if you um, are all just grateful all the time. I personally have a, a hard time sometimes staying focused on that. So the products are to, to help you stay focused on, on that. And we do, for example, canvases with words on that will remind you during the day. We do uh, notepads and agendas and so on, and CDs to help you stay in a grateful mode. So, yeah, uh, Patty's going to give out a gratitude guidance card, for example, which is something I've developed. And the idea with the cards is that um, the, whatever card you take is not a coincidence, it will have a message for you. And often, for example, I know that Pat uses them sometimes, uh, if she has a question, she can take one of them, and there is the answer. So that's the idea, is that we attract the, the answer into our life. Um, so, so what is an attitude of gratitude? Have you ever bought a new car, and all of a sudden you see this car everywhere? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, all the time. All of a sudden, and I think, what, did everybody go out and buy this car overnight? I've never seen this car before in my life. And all of a sudden, everybody has it. Even your neighbor has it in the same color as you. What's up for that? You know? So that is what we focus on in life, isn't it? That's what happens. And that's gratitude as well. So if we focus on being grateful, we'll see this more and more. We'll come to a lovely event where we think it's beautiful and we're grateful for that. We'll meet people in our lives that we are really grateful for. Um, so that's the deal. That's exactly the same that happens when you bought this new car and all of a sudden everybody has it. Was it there before? Yeah, it was. The car, the car was exactly there before, but we never noticed it before. So that's what happened in our lives. I want to give you an example. And I just read a book by a woman called Anita Mojani, and it's called Dying to Be Me. She, I don't know, have you ever heard about this book before? It's fairly new. She had a near-death experience. She had cancer all over and she died. And she came back and basically she discovered um, what it's all about. And what she describes it very good, I think, life. Um, because she describes it something like this. We're in a warehouse full of things, but we only have this tiny little flashlight to guide us. So we only see maybe a little bit, maybe we see a leg of a chair, but we don't know even it's a chair. Because we only have this little flashlight. And what happened when she had her near-death experiences was somebody switched on the light and all of a sudden she could see everything. And that's what we need to do. We need to turn on the light because there's so much more out there. And that's what we do when we all of a sudden get a new car. We focus on that and there it is everywhere. So we need to turn on the light in our lives and start focusing on the good stuff because that is what we want more of. Yeah? So it's an amazing book, by the way, I can recommend it, it's beautiful. We met her in London, we were just on, um, on a seminar called I Can Do It with Louise L. Hay, and we met this lady that uh, died and come back, she cured herself totally from cancer after this experience. And it's just an amazing book, so you can get the name afterwards if you haven't heard about it before. Um, so basically we're turning on the light now, uh, and we're starting to focus on what, what is good in life. Because what we focus on in our lives grow. Yeah, that's what happens. So, for example, all our beliefs are self-fulfilling prophecies, aren't they? You might know people that say, life is terrible. How is their life? Normal is terrible. They're depressed, they think it's all bad. And yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. Because we prove ourselves right constantly, all over again. So, if you believe that 
everybody is really good to you. For example, when you travel, there's a lot of people that think, oh, people are so nice to me. What happens? They meet really beautiful people that are very, very nice to them. But it's all about our focus. We have this little flashlight, and what do we choose to focus it on? That's the deal. So, I want you, I want to do a little exercise just to, to feel how gratitude can change our state. So I want to feel just what you feel right now. And then try and close your eyes just for a second. Try and close your eyes. Just center yourself. And then think of something you're really, really grateful for in your life. It could be this beautiful moon that was here when we were driving down the coast just now. It could be anything. It could be your cat. It could be your children. Anything that you think is beautiful. I want you to really see it now in your, in your mind. And just feel how grateful for you are for this. It could be your husband. It could be anybody. And then open your eyes now. Did it change your state? Do you feel any different than you felt before? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's the that's the deal here. We want to feel like this all the time. That's our goal. Yeah. So, how do we change? How do we change to have an attitude of gratitude? Well, um, we we start focusing on it, as I said. First of all, we start maybe what could feel like lying to ourselves a little bit. We have a belief, maybe we think life is terrible, and now we're going to change this belief to, to say life is beautiful. And in the beginning it feels like, no, I don't believe that at all. But that's the job, that's the work we have to do. We have to convince ourselves, and once we believe it, we'll start proving it in our lives. And what, for example, I have a, we have this um, gratitude journal, and it has every day on it. And the deal here is that you write down five things that you're grateful for every day. But it can't be the same. It has to be different things. Does that sound difficult? Yeah, it does. You know why? Because we complain and we moan and we complain. We watch the news and it's all bad. So it sounds difficult, but it's not. Once you get started, it, this can really be done. You can find five things a day you're, you're grateful for. And what happens is you're going to totally change your focus around. Your life is not going to be the same anymore. Plus, you're going to have a whole diary full of things that you can always refer to if you feel down. What was I grateful for uh, in February? Oh, that. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I still have that. Beautiful. So we keep... To... Life is all about energy. So it's about staying in a positive mode. And that's what we want to do. So, for example, this is a way to do it. To start writing it down. It, it can be difficult in the beginning, but you'll learn. And all of a sudden, during the day, what happens is... It's quite amazing because I've done this myself. What happens is you start noticing, ooh, I must write this in my diary tonight. Ooh, that was good. So you start all of a sudden, your little flashlight is now looking at all the good things. And that rocks, because then you change your life, you know? So that's really beautiful. So that's a way to do it. You can use any notepad, but, you know, it's not just this one. <laughs> um, but that's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> what I would like you to do is to go home tonight and look at something your partner uh, does. Look at him. Check him out. He's choosing to be with you every day. Why? Is that not beautiful? And alone, that alone is beautiful, isn't it? So you're also choosing him. He should also be grateful, but that could change all our relationships. All our relationships could change if we focus on this. So go home tonight, the people that are in the relationship, or even with your friends, or your children, or your cat, or whatever it could be, and focus on the beautiful fact that they are right there with you. I think that's the deal. Even if they're there every day, how beautiful is that? They're there every day for you. So I think that's that's worth being grateful for, and that's worth that can improve your life as well immensely if you focus on the people that are around you and the good things they actually do do. In business, I have a business called Redline Company, and we use this a lot. My whole staff are trained to to think like this. We get a client in, and we're really grateful, and we're also grateful for all the clients that are already there. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes we get depressed and, and it's all bad and then we shake it off. We, we do like this, shake it off and then we away with that and then we're grateful again. Even if we lose a client, sometimes we think, okay, something better is going to come. And that's why we lost this client. It could open a door to something better. So we really try, and I can tell you that I've doubled my staff in the last two years and there's a big crisis out there. My, parent, my uh, people from Denmark call me up and say, oh, you all living on the street? Oh, we not. We're buying it. So that's the deal, I think, in the relationship. So, but the biggest relationship, what is that? That's with ourselves. Hmm? 
How many of us look in, uh, in the mirror and we go, woohoo? Huh? Do you do that in the morning? We go, I rock. <laughs> no, we don't do that. No, we go, Ooh, what's that? And what's this? Oh no, what's this? No? You do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do sometimes as well. And what a pity. Because if we change that relationship, it's done. We finished. Because then we're really happy, you know? What? Can you imagine in the morning you wake up, you go, thank you, Ben, it was beautiful, thank you. And then you look yourself in the mirror and you go, woohoo, I rocked another day with me. Okay, imagine that. What would happen? How would your life be? You look at me as if I'm totally crazy now. <laughs> but imagine it. Uh, no, if they were here for Joe King, they'd understand. Uh -huh. Joe King really she does that. You love exactly. yourself. And that is beautiful. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest relationship we have no? with ourselves. So gratitude is really love. I think that's the main message here. Gratitude is love. It's love for ourselves and it's trust as well. It's trust in the universe. For example, I'm single. How many here are single? Okay. So what, what happens when we're single? People say to us, oh, you'll find somebody someday. No? That's the attitude sometimes. And I think, yeah, but you know what? I'm actually grateful for being single. And I think there's a, a reason sometimes why we're single. In there, there might be a period of years where we have to do something else because it does take up a lot of room having a, a relationships sometimes. It can be a distraction. So sometimes if we can really be grateful for the fact that we're single and enjoy it, what a freedom we have. We can do it. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. That is awesome, isn't it? Does anybody say that to me? Wow, congratulations, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. No, they all think, you'll find somebody someday. <laughs> yeah, of course I will. You know, but that's not the deal. I want to be grateful now because I'm single. And then you'll come. Or maybe you won't. You know, but if that's our attitude, we can all of a sudden have fun with it. And that's what we should have fun. So I think gratitude is love, but it's also trust in the process. Yeah, we're here for a reason, and there's a reason why we don't have somebody right, right now, maybe in our lives. Because we might have to do something much more important just then. Yeah? I'm not saying we can't do that if we have a partner, but sometimes it can be a distraction. All this lovey-dovey thing can distract you a little bit. Maybe you're supposed to write a book, or learn how to sing, or go skiing. I don't know. It could be anything. Yeah? So, it's all beautiful, but remember your biggest relationship is with yourself. You're with yourself every day, every hour, every minute. You go to the toilet and you're there again. Oh my God! <laughs> there she is, the girl that keeps telling me I'm to this, I'm to that. No, let's be good friends with ourselves, because that's really the key. Yeah, Because your relationship comes and goes, but you're always there, staring into that mirror every morning. So I think that's, that's gratitude as well. Yeah? Anyway, I talk a lot. <laughs> You've <audience. laughs> So, I think I've said what I want to say, really. I want to say one last thing, and that is gratitude is trust. And trust, you know what that does? It eliminates fear. Yeah? So now we turn on the television, and there's a crisis, and everything is going to break. And ah, if you trust, you cannot have fear. It's impossible. And I think that is beautiful. That is beautiful to know. When we get really nervous, if we start trusting, trust, it's all okay. It's exactly as it's, as it's meant to be. Nobody, no, no, nothing can shake you anymore because you're totally trusting in the process. And that is, that is just, it's all finished, isn't it? We can just relax. So okay, you lose a client or a relationship breaks or whatever. Trust that it's meant to be. Step back a little bit and don't judge everything maybe. You say, oh, this is good, this is bad. Wait, wait. Have you ever had any, for example, I was fired once for a job and I was so shocked. It's like, oh my god, my whole life is going to... And later on, two years later, I think, wow, that's brilliant. Because I wasn't supposed to be there anymore. I was supposed to go another way. So this leads me to my next thing. And that is the ultimate gratitude uh, experience, as I call it. And that's what I want to do in a second, in a little meditation with you guys. Why am I talking about all this? Who am I? What is the deal here? Why do I, why am I a specialist in gratitude all of a sudden? Well, I'm not. But I experienced some things in my life that I understood that gratitude can be very powerful. What basically happened was I was, um, well, I was around 15. I was very spoiled, living in Denmark, in my little, very safe world. And all of a sudden, all these people
people died in my family. My mother died, her sister died, my grandparents died within three years. So they all died of cancer and the whole thing was just terrible. And I had never really experienced anything bad. So I was totally knocked out. So I had a big trauma, my whole family was split up. My father went one way, my sister another, and I got anorexia. I tried to commit suicide, it was just terrible. And all of a sudden, in the middle of all this mess, I found a book called, uh, called You Can Heal Your Life from Louise L. Hay. And I read this book and I cried for a month. And that took me to another book and so on. So I started reading all these self-help books. And one day, in the middle of all this bad stuff, I just felt so grateful. I felt grateful for all the bad things that had happened to me. Why? Because I'm, I wasn't the same person as I was before. Now I have much more depth, I was much more a person. So all of a sudden I could, I could see why all this had happened to me. So what happened? I like doing this when I do this. What happened? It's like this, and all of a sudden, yeah, you have a traumatic experience, and it can just go. So what happened was, I didn't, I didn't use this story to hold me back anymore. It pushed me forward. I could understand why all this had happened to me. Because if it hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't have learned all the thousand things I'd learned. What a beautiful thing. It was fantastic all of a sudden. So you think, okay, this lady's crazy. She was grateful for her mother's death. No, that's not the deal. But I'm grateful for the experiences. I can understand them. I can trust that life gives me only what I can take and to teach me things. So that's why I set up Gratitude Art. Because I understood how important it is to be also grateful for the bad stuff in our lives. Why? Because without that, life is about growing. That's all we're here for. This is a school. We, uh, we started with Dr. Brian Rice, uh, Susan and I, and we do past life regressions. And he calls this place the Earth School. And that's what it's all about. It's about learning and growing. And when do we grow the most? When it's most painful, unfortunately. And when we learn to be grateful for it, it can push us forward instead of holding us back. And that's what happens with a lot of people, for example, that has written a book or something because of their uh, terrible experiences. So I, that's what happened to me, and that's what I call the ultimate gratitude experience. And uh, but we've, done, um, we've done a CD here with, with meditations about being grateful, but I'm going to do a little meditation with you guys if you're up for it, where we're just going to relax and we're just going to feel grateful for an experience. It could be anything. Um, and I just want you to feel that power with me. Okay? Are you alright with that?